uh, new bonus. Um, by no means are these going to be daily uh, editions, but um, you know, when something happens or stuff comes in, I can do an update, maybe a small update, maybe five minutes, but whatever. Uh, if I would have unboxed the package from New Era, it would have been a one hour video, but more on that later. Uh, on the record player, sort of a continuation from yesterday, is Meine Wechweg with Alfen Passen. That was on the, in the background. Now for the quarantine vinyl challenge on Instagram, you have to pick three records that would get you through, um, yeah, through this shit. And um, I, I have randomly pulled out three records everywhere, so I just took one of them. And was Hebel with Yeah, Everything's Great, a Belgian punk release. Uh, the Cramps with Sex, Cramps and Rock and Roll, and then the Slits, uh, female punk band. Um, all acquired at a flea market two years ago, I guess. I'm not sure about the cramps with Havel and the slits. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that ordered three. Um, anything else on that front? No, it's just if you are into it, it's picking up pace. So um, yeah, I guess it's fun to do. Then a package came in, a small little package from uh, New Era. It was in this containment bag. The guy packing, I, I can't remember his name, but you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, so it was a double box. I decided to pick up the Hail Conjure Absolute Key 7 inch. That was, um, let's get that out first. So it took me, I was, I started this video opening this box um, to piss off everybody who hates unboxing metal videos. Uh, but then it, it, I noticed why this is everybody else. It was, uh, it was too well packed. It came with cardboard, it came with protection, it came with another envelope, there is potato chips in here, so yeah, very well packed is my point, and not to be opened on camera. Um, so what was in here, or what was the main reason for ordering, and it's kind of weird ordering just this because I told a few videos ago, I don't know why I order 7 inches, but this is too good to pass up because uh, this is Hail Conjurer. Absolute key rings a bell, but I have to plead the fifth on this one. I um, I don't know. They had a 10 inch on New Era, I think. Maybe it has something to do. I don't know. I don't know. Two tracks on here: Death Meditation and Disrobed for the Devil. This was actually a 7 inch that was uh, put in production because Hell Conjurer and maybe Absolute Key. I'm not sure. We're going to do a mini Euro tour, which also was going to pass Belgium. I was looking forward to it very much because I Hail Conjurer got on my radar from Invicta uh, last year. And he is this burly dude. I'll talk about it more because there's a package coming in, um, the second to last package coming in uh, with all the Hail Conjurer stuff, so I'll talk more. But it's the guy from um, Right for Revenge, the, the big guy. So. I saw, I always saw him playing with a shirt off, you know, like Conan style, and I thought it was, it's not for me, but then I started listening to it, got over my fear of muscles, and uh, yeah man, it clicked, so here's Hell Conjurer, this came out in perfect timing with my obsession as, um, cheers, it's not Irish coffee, bull guy, um, yeah, with my minor obsession with uh, Hell Conjurer, um, so more on him or that project. In an upcoming bonus or a new collection. I think a bonus because it's just three or four records. So yeah, the seven inch that was uh, made or produced for that tour is now put on sale through New Era, limited to 100 copies. Hand numbered of course, because it's New Era, 64. These guys, I mean, I talked about them enough, I guess. Dutch label, absolute. It has the windmill from their hometown, Leiden, which I have been to, not in the dark, but, and it wasn't on fire. And then for some reason, and I think because it was a Dutch-Belgian tour maybe, they have this guy, and this is, uh, it's called Monica Piss, Sir Euron, whatever, Sir Euron, that's a good one. Um, yeah, Monica Piss, a statue that is in Brussels for a small guy that just pees, and he, he always has these costumes, this is his bear hanging out. But yeah, two tracks uh, by these 
to this is actually very nice. even the uh, even the slip case or whatever you want to call it is nice because not only is it you know black and brown on the inside but it is and I see it because the light comes through and that's very subtle I don't know if that will show up but it has the goat um, stamp from new era so that's something new I guess uh, yeah very cool little release um, this actually will get played a sturdy sleeve around it and I think it's still in stock um, they made 100 so it should have lasted the tour I'm not sure how many people are really into Hell Conjure or absolute absolute key but I think they made rounds um, there okay so that's that there was promo material in there that was worth it uh, you know I always show the flyers by them but um, I usually have them all there was new stuff in here so let's see it I'm going to the rest is with the old paper but I'm going to hang up this one because I always forget to pick up the new Sinister Flame and I promised somebody I would get a new one and trade it for the first one um, but yeah I always forget there is a card thanks for the order Tom which means as much as Godspeed. So there, put that in the 7 inch. The beautification, remember. There is a sticker, and there you go, the New Era Goat, which is, uh, is that EMI, the dog, and the uh, gramophone? I'm not sure. This is a goat. And then they have these new uh, black metal stickers, which I absolutely adore. I saw it pop up on Instagram. I have a few, so you want to order a sticker from me no. um, there is this his wounds flyer his wounds big cartel and the despot moon and witch's moon are the two that stick out to me uh, equal to so maybe two I'm despondent moon is on my want list for quite a while uh, they have the circle of your Uroboros and then this spawning moon another one dungeon sent raw black metal yes another one so two records out Folk influenced synth meets scorching melodic black metal. That is the Witch's Moon. So, check it out. Uh, and then, why just order a 7 inch when you, for the same posted rate, can get some more and support some label or a label? Once again, back to perfection. There's even chips between the tapes incredible if they pack every order like this that would be incredible uh, first thing like I said I was into the Nightside Eclipse listening to that one so I bought the Rat of Tyrant tape this is by no means a original or whatever this is just a they are releasing all those classics in uh, rapid succession like the, the early Norwegian stuff it's actually a very nice looking tape um, I was thinking it was going to be much more clunky or clumsy but this I I've never seen this one this is like hazy clear red red of the time red not red uh, yeah this is their their first EP if you will um, red of the tyrant demo is recorded May 92 in the crypts of telemark bonus tracks is recorded at bonus tracks okay it's recorded at studio SS under the December full moon 92 music by Samot and Ishan dirt by Mortis so yeah absolute fucking classic piece and I never wanted to yeah I don't know why I never bought the uh, the hammer heart reissues they have a, a new reissue on picture disc I don't know it always felt I don't know man just get it on I got it on tape and then I uh, bought from new era but uh, to support one of my other favorite labels and I have no idea I just saw it pop up and uh, this is uh, not Old Tower. I always get confused because Old Tower is on here. This is uh, Tour de Garde. This is Funeral with Black Flame of Unholy Hate. I think this is going to be a beast of a tape. Uh, like I said, I know nothing about it. It has a big ass J card. It looks kind of old. Yeah, 25 years of Black Flame. 25 years of Black Flame of Unholy Hate. There's a lot going on here. 1959. Here blows the funeral wind where the obscure light of moon guides our way into blasphemy. 
eternal sins we committed towards the glory of our dark kingdom coronation in pure blasphemy look at that that is a j card it was on my radar uh through the guard lately have um I've done a lot of cool releases, a lot of Canadian reissues of stuff. Maybe this is one of them, a Canadian band. Have to dig in. Um, this will 100% pop up in a nice, bulky tape delay. But yeah, for now, Funeral with Black Flame of Unholy Hate. Maybe this is the soundtrack for tomorrow. Um, it has four, eight tracks on here, so yeah, bulky shit. I, yeah, it, 25 years, so it must be a re-release from back in the day so yeah that's it man um, I would um, I would say something positive or something but uh, yeah just listen to records man hug your kids hug your wife whatever we have time now so it's always when I was at work I was always thinking oh, wouldn't wouldn't it be great to have a month off or longer off and now that we are here it's not that I'm bored because I have kids because there's no time but um, yeah it's a weird period in our lives, and I think um, more shit is going to change than we can imagine. But let's see. Pantare, I guess. Let it flow. Peace.